did not stop at the roads. The water also invaded homes, and many families in Metro Detroit have a big mess on their hands. 7 Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn continues our coverage live in Royal Oak. Now, it's going to be a difficult cleanup, Dave, isn't it? Difficult and long, Joanne. Uh, we're on Dorchester, just off 13 Mile Road in Madison Heights. We've been to a number of communities today uh, Berkeley, Warren, and we started our day in Royal Oak. It's amazing how much stuff was floating around the basement last night. Mitch Gaska has a big job ahead of him, and he isn't alone. Water from yesterday's storm left the basement of his Royal Oak home a sloppy mess and left him scrambling to save personal items of sentimental value. We're lucky in a way because so far we've got the, the washer, dryer, material things, but I was able to save, you know, the, the baby pictures and the grand baby pictures and all that, and I think that, to, to us, that's important. Tom Wilcock was still trying to clean up this morning after his newly finished basement also became a victim of the August deluge. I did the majority of the work. It took me about six, seven months. Um, you know, I'm learning as I go, and I just completed about March, and uh, nice new furniture and everything, and, and now it's not submerged anymore, but it once was. Yeah. And so to have this happen and to see it happen, it's got to be heartbreaking for you. Uh, borderline devastating. I mean, worse things have happened to better people, but I was very fortunate where, you know, I had a little bit of equipment, and then I had a couple great friends come over and bring me some transfer pumps, and... We pumped out as much as we could last night. These are some of the many items Mitch Gaska carried out of his basement while cleaning up. Not everything could be saved. And that's also the case for some of his neighbors on North Connecticut Street. Furniture and other household items will be curbside waiting for the next trash pickup. Since we've been here in Madison Heights, we've seen this couple make trip after trip to the curb, bringing things from their basement. Coming up at 6 tonight, how private companies are helping those homeowners with a helping hand, those in need. For now, we are live in Madison Heights. Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News. Look forward to that.